Welcome back to FS19 Automation. We finished that first harvest and uh, we got some money. You'll see my money has dropped significantly in the top right because I went and bought something new. Yes, I couldn't help it. Uh, if you have a look at the fields now, if you just go into our map, you'll see one of these is dark blue, the other one is light blue. And there's little bits and pieces. Yep, even with the automation, it seems like they still miss a tiny little bits here and there. That's really kind of annoying. But there's a few options I went through and did some testing. And by all means, if you have uh, better options than what I'm about to show you, then by all means, put them in the comments down below. However, uh, you'll see these two different colors. These two different colors are there because uh, for every crop that you grow, there are two different um, fertilized states. One you can apply immediately when you're seeding, and that's what our existing machine does. So if you look at this, this thing, oh well, there's a few options. Let's just go through the process. One, this subsoiler. It basically plows and cultivates at the same time. But for most crops, you don't need the plowing side. So instead of this subsoiler, you could get something that cultivates and seeds at the same time. And we may well go into the, doing the option, since for these crops, I don't need the ploughing state. Once they're actually done once, it's fine, they won't need ploughing again. Uh, there's a few exceptions. I think it's like sugar beet and potatoes, maybe, but I, I can't remember the exact list. I'm sure someone can put it down in the comments below, the ones that do need ploughing. Anyway, it'll come up on the map if they do. Regardless, this thing uh, actually cultivates, so basically gets everything ready for seeding. And over here, we've got something that seeds, but also fertilizes. So if we attach a tractor to this, let's just go and grab, uh, let's just say this tractor for a second. And uh, let's just detach you and come over here. Whoop. Drive. There we go. And we'll just attach this onto the back. Helps with this GPS mod as well, that uh, can see exactly where the center of your tractor is. Okay, so you'll see on the bottom right there, there's fertilizer and soybeans. Well, this is basically what's in this, you know, in the containers behind me, and I can sort of set everything up there. So, in this case, whenever I sow these seeds, uh, I will I'll get the fertilizer as well. So it will automatically go to that first growth state. Instead of doing that, you could just have a cultivator seeder, which I think I may well invest in once we actually get the first crop done, well, the next harvest in, which is going to be this episode. And then we'll be able to cultivate and seed at the same time. And then the fertilizer, instead, we're going to do something else. So over here, I've got what are we going to do with the fertilizer. So if you look in the store, press P and go across to crop protection right there. You'll see a bunch of different things that you can actually buy. And of these things, you'll see at the very bottom left here, the different kind of um, contents that they can have. For example, here, this is the one I bought, 35 grand has a working width of 24 meters. So it's really, really quick to do fertilization in any fields, but it also allows you to do um, basically pest control. So you can use basically weed killer on the fields as well and swap things out. So if I just pop in here for a second, let's just get rid of course play. And uh, if I press the unload key, press I, you'll see it unloads all of the liquid fertilizer. We can refill it just by pressing R again and it'll fill back up again. Yes, I know this is really odd that it spawns a tank. Um, I'd sort of prefer it if there were placeable. Well, there is placeables with mods, but then basically, you know, tanks that you can actually go and uh, you have to unload there at. But that's that's by the by. We have this liquid fertilizer, and uh, before we actually go down, uh, let's actually just go and demonstrate this. So I'm just going to start up and just turn that help off. I'm just going to head down to the store quickly and uh, let's go and do a couple of things. Um, we do have an automatic route uh, that you know the tractors can drive themselves there, but in this case, I'm just going to take a near suicidal path through, and uh, we <laughs> will head down there and just show you the the swapping over of different things. Regardless, I need to swap out and basically increase the amount of fertilizer in this thing anyway. I want to fill it up uh, entirely before we actually go much further. I don't think I have anything new I need to show you at the shop yet. Um, let's just see. No, just seeds over there. So let's let's just buy some stuff over here in the store. We want, uh, is it pallets, herbicide tank and fertilizer tank? There we go. So we want fertilizer in this particular case. It is three grand. So that that is the, the downside to this thing. You can, um, yeah, yeah, instead of spending the 2,400 for the herbicide, you can just weed. But the weeders, remember, we don't currently have the horsepower to get the really large weeders, so it's much quicker to actually go with this. However, you do spend money for it. However, I'm going to purchase it just for the sake of saying purchase. 
and uh, showing you the difference. And if we have a look here, green crop protection, you'll see this thing stores 2,000 litres, 2,200 litres. So over here on the right hand side, we've got a couple of new things that we can actually refill. So here we go. And you'll see if I get close enough to this, uh, I need to get to the fertilizer. There we go, refill. So that's going to refill the fertilizer entirely. And there'll be, still be some left over. But we can just swap between them easily just by hitting unload. Yeah, there's two of them. And then we can just go and fill from this. And you see it's now filling with herbicide. So basically, we can do any weeding that we like with this, and it will fill this almost to, you know, almost to the brink. There we go. All 2,000 litres of it. In our case, we're not going to be using that just yet. So I'm just going to dump this and then just go and refill back from these two and head back to the farm. And here we are. And we should probably unfold this thing. So if you have a look just how big this thing is once it unfolds. Yep, it unfolds three times. That's the second one. That's the third one. I think we may even do four. Well, that's technically three. But yep, there are lots of segments on here. So you can imagine just how far across we can actually do this in one or two passes. So it should be much easier for us to get this automated and it doesn't take much work. We just need to basically do it with course no, with field number 19. So let's just go to course generation and let's just go to 19 and let's just scroll in a little bit. Headland, we probably won't need it in this case, I don't think, uh, because we should just be able to do this in a couple of passes. Let's just try it with, uh, with no changes. Yeah, so you can see it uh, would basically will do, let's just change this to spiral. Okay, so it's going to go up to the top, across all the way over here, down, cross, up, cross, down. So you'll see this spiral going on, and there are some other options as well. We'll come on to racetrack in a second, because that's another very useful thing. Spiral is very good for this case, where you've got this huge beam, and you don't have to worry about missing gaps too much. So I'm just going to go back and basically tell it to drive this course from the first waypoint and activate once you get to the end. So it should realign itself over there onto the left-hand side and begin fertilizing, essentially. Let's wait for it to start. And there it goes. So if we go to, go to the map for a second, you'll see once it passes a little bit further up. There we go. So you see it's fertilizing that darker blue color. So that's enough for us to get basically the um, higher amount of crops. Uh, I think there is a help article on this somewhere. Um, improving yield, here it is. So to obtain a 65% yield bonus, you need to spread the fertilizer twice, plus 25% each time. Spread lime every three harvests. I've done the lime already. There's nothing uh, too worrying about that. You've seen me do it previously. And then you also have to make sure you, uh, to avoid it penalizing you, remove bad weeds. So again, we have a solution via spraying or indeed by the weeder. Uh, the weed is still not too bad. It's still, you know, it's still fine. Oh, and here we are. Plow after corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. So those four crops are things that we'll have to actually watch out for. We're not to those yet, and some of those, particularly the potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane, require specialist harvesting equipment. I'm not sure if the corn does, but these other ones certainly do. You'll see if, if you go into the shop section, um, there is beet technology, sugarcane technology and potato technology and they are there for a reason uh, you basically need to process them you can imagine you can't just you can't just harvest potatoes in the same way you can harvest grain or at least not unless you want um mashed potato i guess anyway moving on uh we need to wait for that to finish so that's fine it won't take very long at all you'll see it's now working its way down the other side yeah and then it's going to spiral inwards now i did mention racetrack because Racetrack is one of the other kind of uh, routes that I pretty much set up. I want to just explain this. Um, these different methods of going through the fields, uh, spiral is obvious. You know, really know that. Racetrack is not so obvious, and it's not, not something you would use for a harvester like this, because remember I told you spiral, you want something like a spiral, because you always want this pipe side facing over the crop that you've already harvested, so that you can drive and later automate a wagon alongside, okay? Now, however, other things like a cultivator, uh, like this, or indeed cedar and this kind of fertilizer, you don't necessarily need any of that. 
If you have those going over a field, what you really want is for the thing not to slow down. And that's where racetrack comes in. Yes, the, the name doesn't mean about speed. And the, all the, what will actually say actually happen with a racetrack course is, first of all, probably you want to you wanna actually uh, record your headlands if you're going to do this. I, I'd recommend just recording the headlands for one or two passes on each end so you have those. Record that course and then set up a racetrack. So let's just show you what the racetrack does. Uh, I need to get into a... Uh, fa uh, yeah get into a tractor there we go so let's just go here remove the course and let's uh no i want to go into fieldwork mode or whatever that is what is that fertilizer and seeding mode that's fine course generation let's go to field 20 for argument's sake so field 20 and i'm not i'm gonna basically ignore headland because that's not important for this because you're gonna record the headlands manually maybe and let's go to racetrack mode and then it doesn't really much matter where the starting vehicle position is, but I'm going to actually say southeast and I'm going to tell it to go north explicitly just so we can see how this actually works. So dead north, start at the southeast corner, which is right down here, and basically generate something for me. Space, generate. That looks confusing. <laughs> What's really happening, however, is that it's going to start and it's going to head up the field. And then it's going to turn at the top, come back down, and but it's going to then go across to the middle and then work its way across. So it's, if you imagine rectangles marching the way from, from right to left here, so one rectangle, then a rectangle to its, right, to its left, and then another rectangle to its left, what's basically happening is it's generated a course that allows for the tractor to turn around at the far end. So instead of trying to turn back on itself and come back down the very next row, or do something with skipping rows, where it skips one row and then comes down the row after, racetrack goes up one end of the field, goes into the middle, comes back down, and then starts generating... Well, so that's going through rectangles, where it comes all the way back over here, goes up another row, goes all the way back over here, but you see at each end it has time to actually turn around, which means the fact that the tractor doesn't slow down, and you end up, hopefully, with a field that is, uh, yeah, you know, harvested quickly. Not that you mind too much given it being automated, but when you have many more fields, you might appreciate getting the money in faster. So maybe that's something for you. If it isn't, don't worry about it. If it is, cool, give it a try. Now, our crop isn't actually ready yet, so we can't do another harvest. So what do we do, just fast forward time? Well, there is another way of generating money in the game, and that is missions. Now, I want to see if course play is actually available on those missions. Haven't tried it. Just I haven't tried it, so I just want to see whether that's actually possible. Otherwise, if it's not, I'm guessing we have to drive it manually. You okay? So here we have contracts, and there's different basically contracts for different things. You'll see different amounts of money as well. So if we want just a, basically a free five grand, we can just go through and uh, harvest the field. And I think that has like a reputation system once you actually do that, which then will make it uh, basically cheaper to actually buy the land. So. Yeah, the sort of being really rather nice about it. Uh, so field 22 is that one. That's quite a large field. But uh, let's go and see what... Is there any field 21? Because that's the kind of thing we'd like to buy next. Field 21. Uh, no, 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 no. No. So, okay. So field 22 it is. And it's in a regular shape. So why don't we just look at that? So there's a couple of things. One is you can harvest the canola. Oh, God. That's the Minecraft series that I've been playing. Canola just keeps coming into every game. Uh, in field 22 and take the product to grain mill. So, yeah, we got to do that. Use your own equipment or lease equipment for a reward reduced by a certain amount. Um, I'm going to basically say borrow the items, uh, I think. Uh, or maybe we do something else. Fertilizing. Um, yeah, fertilizing. It's not, there's not as much money as the harvesting by any means, but uh, let's give this a go. So what's field 18? That's the one in the other direction, isn't it? Uh, yes, yeah, so that's the next field here. That's fine as well. And I guess we can fertilize with our own equipment because we've already got it. So let's see if that's actually doable. Um, that'd be cool, actually, if we can just get some money from that. Field 8. So I don't need any of that stuff. Uh, any type of fertilizer, that's fine. And we get 3,600. Uh, I hope we get reimbursed for the fertilizer itself because... It costs money. It really costs money. Let's get let's space. Let's accept this contract. 
and let's see what it actually does. So I'm just going to go over here, grab this. Are we attached? Looks like we are. Uh, it looks like we're not, in fact. There we go. Now we're attached. And field 18 is just over that way. And uh, it's literally the next field to this one. So we can generate a new course, hopefully, and get this started as well. So that'll be cool. And just, let's just avoid the corner of our field. We don't necessarily want to trample all over the crops. And this one should do. All right, so let's see if this actually works. Well, let's delete you. Go into basically the, the fertilizing mode. Good course generation of field 18. Yep, we can actually select it. Good. So now I just basically want spiral. And um, I don't need to do anything else. Yeah, it will have to loop over itself uh, basically once here but that's just a matter of uh, I mean that's just to do with the working width versus the working width of the field otherwise I don't care that much about it and we will just say go to the first waypoint stop at last point or next trigger um, activated and drive course so we got full amount of liquid fertilizer if you remember these they are like three grand each for each tank so we'll see how that does once it's finished with this field and just in case there is an actual, um, basically, discount, we want to have a look at just what this is right now. Um, its value is 180 grand, apparently, so um, at least at the moment, and we'll see if that actually goes down over time. However, this thing needs to actually um, go through and uh, do the job. Okay, and we near, we're now on our final leg of the spiral, I think. Well, it looks like it anyway. You can see the terrain changing as we actually spray it. Uh, dry side on this side, wet side on this side. And once we reach the end, we'll see whether it actually lets us use cosplay and gives us rewards or whether it doesn't. Um, hopefully it will. Um, yeah, because that'll be a really good way to just use the tractors when you're not in use on your own fields just to keep passively generating money, which is kind of useful in this game. So are you going to let me complete? Um, I should have actually completed. So... Have you now say completed? Yes, you are. So we'll get 3,600. Okay, let's collect. And we did get exactly 3,600. However, we did spend, uh, I don't know, 35% of a tank. So let's just fold everything back up again. Stop driver. It may well be worthwhile at that point, if you're going to get 3,600. Uh, is there another thing here for fertilizing? No, not at the moment, but it may well be worthwhile taking the hit on the reward just to use their equipment because then you don't have to spend the money on your own fertilizer, uh, etc. and stuff like that. So, yeah, I guess the choice is yours, really, as far as the missions are concerned. But, um, yeah, that's fairly successful. One other thing, though, did we get any money savings on buying that land? So go to here, press X. How much is the land? Nope, still 180 grand. So no change there. Maybe that was just in Farm Simulator 17. Yeah, maybe someone can mention in the comments. If there is a way of saving on the land, maybe it's just repeated missions. Don't know. But uh, it would be nice if that was an option. I'm almost sure it was, it was in FS17. Anyway, onward with the first, well, second harvest. And one thing I should have done and I forgot to is just change the tires out on this fast tractor. I think we're going to go and just change that up over here. Assuming that it will let me. Let's get out and um, can I enter the tractor? Whoops. Just go here, maybe. Yep, vehicle options. So uh, first of all, we need to repair it. It's up in half condition, so uh, that would be nice. And it's 368 uh, pounds, so euros or dollars, or whatever you set your game settings to. That's perfectly fine with me. And we also want to customize it. So uh, we don't care about the wheel brand so much, but this wheel setup we, well, that would be amazing crop destruction. Uh, what we actually want is the narrow tires and for anything to do with fertilizing, uh, anything after they've been sown, basically. So fertilizing, weeding, it would be nice to have the narrower tires. And yes, we'll keep the GPS system on there and we could upgrade the engine as well. That would take us to 150. So the same as our slow tractor, except this one can go faster, um, but is capable of doing all the same equipment. That will cost 18 and a half grand to do so. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for that, I think. Customize. Yes. Okay, so that's 183 grand. 
and we got very very biscuit wheel like tires but uh it, it should do fine and of course this is now fully maintained uh, the other tractor on the farm is nowhere near as damaged as, as in need of maintenance so this one is going to work just fine and uh, i really should probably get some kind of transport system going uh from here one other thing i did want to mention actually uh, and before i just drive over poles at random uh, on the map you'll see uh over here a lime station and at the very very top left there's another lime station as well and all other maps you'll see very much the same kind of thing now if you set up your lime um sort of course to pass through the lime station just like we did with the harvest collection with a wagon taking it all the way up to sell it it should refill the lime automatically so if you attach your your trailer whatever you want to call it the the, the lime spreader um go and basically get the course going send them up there they should automatically refill so you shouldn't need to go back to the shop to refill from you know manually from crates or anything like that so uh, as and when the fields next need lime i'll go and record that that will be this episode though it'll probably be next and uh, you can see you know how well or badly that works respectively so we've got uh, everything going down for the night yeah it's going sundown the time is advancing i'm just doing this on purpose just to get to the next harvest really and is it late enough that i can now sleep you can't just sleep arbitrarily uh, there we go. So it's 8 p.m. at night. So let's just go for um, to 7 a.m. in the morning. That seems to be fine. And we'll sleep through that. There's a bunch of different stuff coming out of my bank account. And it is 20 past 7 in the morning and everything is ready for the harvest. So just as before, let's just actually slow down time back to 1 to 1. Great demand at sawmill. So let's take a look at where our crops are in demand. Uh, presumably that is the crop that we're looking for. So, soybean is Port Northwest still. Still, it's now 1800. I think it was 1300 when the game first started, so that seems to be uh, probably far more profitable. So I'm going to start the harvest up. That will be quite straightforward to do, because uh, we already have, I think, the, um, the various courses. I did arrange them into folders. So you can see a create a create new folder here, and then you can move them in just by pressing these buttons on the right hand side. And so of course, now well, number 20, harvest load. And let's just take a look at what that course looks like. In fact, let's just do this. So yeah, that looks all as I expect, I think. And it is a spiral starting at the bottom left and going up, around, down, and all the way around working it's all the way to the center it takes some time to actually go through and do that so i'm going to skip forwards of course but because it's probably traditional i'm going to just press uh this and this and go just so you can see it start and uh start its work of course this the field takes by far the the, the more time but uh this is fine for now and you'll see that start to oh whoa buddy whoa 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 that is far, far too enthusiastic at starting that course. Uh, how about if I press drive course now? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Helps to probably drive, drive your, uh, your implement right next to the field. Otherwise, it's going to arrive at full speed. <laughs> Regardless, we're going to harvest to get going. Let's uh, skip forwards. And our harvest is now complete. Our automated uh, driving script is heading up to sell. So if we just go over to that... Yep, there it is. It's just selling right as we speak. And that's 219,000. So that's um, after a second harvest. That's pretty good. In fact, it's uh, really good. If we go back into the financials, you'll see that we spent like 18 grand to upgrade the engine up to 150 horsepower and, you know, the tires, etc. But aside from all of that, if you just have a look at just the harvest, when we just fertilized once, I think this was, but also the price was less. Uh, we had 27 grand or 28 grand. There it's a 40 grand, which is getting much more respectable. So about five harvests like that, and you'll be able to afford a whole new field. But of course, we can already uh, pretty much afford a whole new field. There is one over here. So yeah, we could grab field 18 now if you wanted to. 28, 180 grand. Or field 21 would be 281 grand. 
this certainly seems a lot more value for the money um, but I will maybe let you guys think about which one we actually go for I'll need to do some harvest if he's used 21 but uh, other than that yeah this is going to be pretty good so yeah that's pretty much this second episode we've got fertilizer done we've got a second harvest done and the fields are ready to be sown again of course next episode i'll probably start off by just showing you the alternate version of this instead of going by plowing it's going to be seeding and cultivating at the same time it'll lead me to buy another piece of equipment of course but uh, i could always probably sell uh one of these things i could probably sell the weeder if we were just going to go with fertilizer and that would uh, that would bring some money back in so that's another option for you guys okay hope you enjoyed the episode uh, we'll see you next episode for some more Farm Simulator 19 automation. But until then, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Put the comments down below. Let other people know uh, if you can play the game better than I can, if they've got any improved options with cosplay. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.